To understand what a sedimentary rock is, we really have to understand the three different types. So the first type is going to be called clastic or detrital. And with a clastic or detrital rock, it's made up of pieces of other rocks. So we have loose sediment that's going to get compacted, squished together, and cemented, kind of glued together. And that's called lithified. And so these are things like sandstone, where you've got lots of sand that's been kind of uh, glued together. Uh, things like mudstone, lots of mud that's been glued together. Our second type is going to be chemical. With a chemical sedimentary rock, this is actually formed from solution. And so let's just write that down and then we'll talk about some examples. So the easiest ways to think about this is if you were to get salt water and you were to heat that up in a pan and you were to evaporate all that off and as a gas, you would have salt left over. And so technically that salt would be a chemical sedimentary rock or at least chemical uh, mineral sediment. Um, and so that's exactly what happens in lakes that dry up. So lakes will dry up and they'll leave mineral deposits behind. And that's all chemical sedimentary rock. Now this also happens out in the oceans when the chemistry of the water allows rock to form. So of course the oceans don't dry all the way up, but their chemistry might be such that certain minerals are gonna uh, form out of that solution along the bottom of the ocean. And uh, one of those rocks is limestone if you're familiar with that. So that's a chemical sedimentary rock. And then finally, we're going to have our third type, which is going to be biochemical. And sometimes I'll hear that called biological sedimentary rock, so it might be a little different in your class. But this is actually going to be formed from like life processes, but I'm not organic carbon type of stuff, but just like the shells of animals might collect and form a rock. Um, and that would be an example of a biochemical rock. wrote formed as animal parts collect and lithify and again that can be things like animal shells that are going to be collected in a certain area and um, form kind of these very fossily looking sedimentary rocks and those are called um, biochemical sedimentary rocks and I almost forgot there actually is a fourth type that we're going to talk about and that's going to be organic sedimentary rocks and so these are gonna be different than the biochemical because the biochemical, while it comes from animal processes, it's not the actual living material. But with the organic sedimentary rocks, it's gonna form primarily things like coal, which is going to be from plant materials. So as I'm describing this, I realize this can kind of get a little fuzzy sometimes. So one quick summary is going to be if the material is inorganic mineral material like quartz and feldspars and things like that that's collected, it's clastic detrital. If it's anything that is precipitated from water, from solution, it's chemical. If it's any kind of shell material that was part of life processes but wasn't actually living, the, the item itself wasn't alive, it's going to be biochemical. And if it's some kind of organic material that was living at some point, like plant material, uh, forming something like coal, it's going to be organic.